Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will learn how to add Bootstrap in our Angular application. So we will start with what is Bootstrap. After that, we will learn how to install it. Whenever we will install Bootstrap in our Angular application, we will find that there is some changes in files. In which files? In uh, uh, Angular.json, in Package.json, in Polyfill.json. So we will discuss what are these changes. After that, we will uh, try to run some example of Bootstrap in our application so that we can confirm everything is working fine in Angular and Bootstrap. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions also. So here we have first question, what is Bootstrap? So see, Bootstrap is basically a library that make our application responsive. So what is a responsive application here? So responsive application means a application that can working fine with the all kind of devices like uh, mobile, with the tablet, with the small computer, with the large computer, large dashboard. The old devices, our application is working fine. There is no extra scroll. There is a no text cutting and everything is looking very smooth. Uh, like uh, application is just making for this, that special device, right? So that's the work of Bootstrap. Okay, so how we can install it? For that, we can use the command line and there is a two way to install. One, we can use the npm command. Second one, we can use the ng command. But ng command is recommended because uh, this is related to the uh, 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 Angular actually, right? Because if you use the uh, npm also, so then you have to make some manual changes also. But after running or installing, Bootstrap with the ng, we don't need to write any kind of manual change. So just simply put here ng add at the rate ng minus bootstrap slash ng hyphen bootstrap and hit enter. This command will install two package. Uh, related, related to the bootstrap right so first one will be the bootstrap and second one will be, will be the ng bootstrap i will tell you why we need to package but before that you can see that we have a warning here package already installed so what that means so if you already have bootstrap then it will give you the uh, that message so why i installed package earlier because before making this video i want to check that uh, how we can install it and uh, I just want to make a brush up with the Angular and uh, uh, Bootstrap. That's why I just installed it. In your case, if uh, uh, Bootstrap is not installed, then that line will be not visible. All right. So now you can see that Bootstrap is also installed. And now you will find that there is some changes in our, our file. First one is package.json. Here you can see that uh, Bootstrap CSS is added in our style property. That's OK. After that, uh, let's open the package.json. Here, the three packages are installed. ng bootstrap that make bootstrap comfortable with the Angular. And bootstrap, it have the core features of bootstrap like responsive, uh, color pickers and uh, sorry, date pickers, uh, buttons, alerts kind of things, right? And what is that localized? So see, when we want to application run in the different, different com countries and different, different languages, that time, uh, we want to support multiple languages to our system and that package will help us to make multiple language support in our application. How? I will make a different video on it, right? Because this is a completely separate topic. So these all packages are installed by the uh, bootstrap command polyfill.ts uh, uh, yes. and again this file also just uh, uh, make a dependency uh, with the localize in it, right? So we don't need to worry about that. And these two files, I, created, I made the, the changes in them, that files. And last changes here, you can see that ngb module. This is just imported the uh, ng bootstrap module and register inside imports. That's all for all these changes. All right. So now let's uh, just look out the official website of bootstrap. So whenever you will search the bootstrap, you will find that the official website is getbootstrap.com. So Yes, this is the official website, but whenever you are working with the Angular and Bootstrap, that time you can just take a reference from ngbootstrap.github.io. And you can see that this is the command that we run to install the Bootstrap. And whenever you will click on it, it will just tell us the some alternative ways to install the Bootstrap. 
so we don't need to worry about it because our bootstrap is already installed so yes one more thing what we can do here after just installation we can just run here ng serve and this this is the component list that is supported by the bootstrap like uh, accordion alert buttons uh, crawl collapse date picker much more package right so if you need um uh, you can see that uh, in tutorial on these uh, components then you can ask me in the comment box but this tutorial is related to how we can add bootstrap or run bootstrap in our angular application so we will just make some examples only all right so so it will just about to make the build that's done now let's uh, just pick up some um, component so i would like to pick warning first of all because this is the smallest component and you can just use it directly inside the app dot component dot uh, html so you might be thinking that why i am just copying this code why i am not writing it because see these kind of code you don't need to uh, remember you don't need to learn because there is a lots of library like bootstrap material ui and all so if you learn these kind of things you you will take lots of time it will take lots of time to learn so these are not really necessary so whenever you have to use the bootstrap material ui just copy the code from here and use them that's it right so now you can see that okay uh, just uh, enter on a command so that I'm, it's actually need some some time uh, uh re make a refresh to just load the changes after adding the bootstrap so you, now you can see that this is working fine so with that way we can use the uh, bootstrap code from here or you can use the model code from here this is pretty simple right so let's check the accordion and uh, learn that uh, how we can use it so just copy the code from accordion and just simply paste it here and you will find that again this is working fine right so this is working great you can see that and that tab is disabled if you want to enable it then just uh, remove this property and now this is also enabled so that's all for this video and i hope you learned that how we can add bootstrap if you still have any kind of query yes uh, let's talk about the interview question first thing is that uh, in interviews they can ask that uh, bootstrap is a library or a, it's a framework so that time you can say that this is a library because i know that on the wikipedia you will find that this is the css framework directed to response uh, mobile first application blah 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 but whenever you will open its a uh, official website in the title bar you will find that they are direct clearly mentioning that the most popular html css and js library in the world so i will recommend that you can call it library second question is so do we have any alternative for bootstrap yes we can use the material ui and in the next video we will learn how we can use material ui also so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel